Okay, for those who don't know me, I'm Lillian Warner, and I'm a member of First Wesleyan One Church. The name of the conference is The Woman at the Well. This comes from the book of John, chapter 4, and verse 7, where Jesus meets the Sumerian woman at the well and asks her for a drink of water. Based on the biblical story of the Sumerian woman and Jesus at the well, he was able, willing, and ready to meet her where she was. It did not matter what she had done before, but he did let her know he was aware. So the focus of this conference then is letting us know that today Jesus will still meet us where we are. That we don't have to be special in a certain age, have any certain skills. He will meet us where we are. We as females carry heavy loads that we seem reluctant to get rid of. But this conference we're going to try and change that. Bring your load. We want to share. We want to unload. We want to leave these feelings, these experiences at the well. We will leave that our heavy baggage through worship, fellowship, getting to know and love each other, trust, faith, and leave it with Jesus. We aren't going to take it back, but we're going to bring it. Think of it as a symbolic cleansing through forgiveness that we will seek at the well. To that end, then I offer this prayer. Let us pray. Gracious Father, God of the universe, all-seeing, all-knowing, all-understanding God. We come before you, I come before you to acknowledge you as the head of my life, as the head of our life. We know we love you, we worship you, we adore you. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, your guidance, your direction, for being there regardless of what we're going through, for letting us know you will never leave us. You didn't promise us an easy road, but you did promise to always be with us. And we thank you for that. This morning, we're asking for forgiveness for the things we've done today, yesterday, but through the years, the hurts we may have caused intentionally or unintentionally. The wrongs, the mistakes, 
the wrong directions that we have taken throughout our lives at one time or another. We bring them all to you today and we leave them at the well. Seeking your forgiveness. And we ask to be renewed. We need renewal. So we're asking you to renew our minds. That we think good thoughts. That we quickly discourage unwanted thoughts, unkind thoughts, by replacing them with kind thoughts. Renew our words so that when we speak them, we speak only kind, good, meaningful words. to help, to comfort, to heal, and to ask for the same from others. Renew our ears, our hands, that we hear and listen to that what is good. And turn off that what's not helpful, that we use our hands. to feed, clothe, to offer a helping hand whenever and wherever. Renew our steps that we walk a good life, a life that would be pleasing to you, that the steps carry us to places to help, to heal, Renew our hearts, that we look for something good. And whomever we meet, wherever we meet them, whenever we meet them. And in this renewal, Lord, I ask that you give us the patience to wait for your answer, to wait on you for your time is not our time. We're so impatient. We ask that you give us the patience that will allow us to fly on wings of eagles, to run, and not get weary to walk and not faint. These are the things we're asking, wanting, and expecting from this workshop. We need you, Lord. We thank you. Lord, and we love you. This I ask in your name. Amen.